Hey guys, I had a couple of questions on the wheel scrapers that I designed and made for the car. And since I have them apart right now to uh, make some more uh, scraper plates, I thought this would be a good time to take a closer look at that. So these are the scraper plates. I have my right and left side because they're slightly different here. And you can tell which are the old ones that are starting to wear that I'm making um, replacements for before they're too far gone because I wasn't smart enough to make paper templates for these to begin with. And these are being cut out of um, basically the 24 by 24 sheet of 316 UHMW plastic. Um, I'll put a link in the description, um, but there's enough material out of that to make probably six to 10 sets of scrapers, front and rear for the car. These are my front scrapers of a slightly different design so let's take a look at what these actually look like on the car. So this is the plate that holds the scraper on right below the caliper here. I've got two uh, nut certs in there, uh, M8 nut certs, and I have flanged M8 bolts that are holding the scraper plate on. So this plate goes on just like that. It's actually notched for the rotor. That's how close these uh, push with 15 inch wheels. And it's just bolted through like that. So the actual plate is welded on to the backing plate of the rear brake system. There's not really a good place to bolt this on the rear of the upright. And so the rears were actually the most complicated to fabricate and the fronts are not bad at all. So we've got a little bit of light on this. So the fronts are just a single bolt design and it's a single bent piece of metal that bolts to, I think it was a spare ABS location on the back of this hub, but super simple. As you can see, these were just cut on a bandsaw, rough to shape, and um, then drilled out. Nothing fancy. They're not even deburred. But when you put the wheels on, these holes are slotted. So I just slide the scraper until it's in contact with the wheel, pretty much, and then tighten up the flange bolts, and they'll they'll clearance themselves and conform to the wheel barrel. One thing you have to be aware of is that you can't run wheel weights anywhere inside of the drum of the wheel where where this is going to be contacting um, so you need to be careful um, where you're putting the weights to balance the wheels if you're going to run these or else you're going to have to leave a massive gap to um, have the spacers clear and not wipe the wheel weights off and then that voids the entire point of these scrapers uh, to begin with <laughs> 